Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have JC Resto with 966 rating versus Team Playmakers with 1,593 rating, so this can be another DB rated match, and with that being said, let's hop right in. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to see JC win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and then they're going to go ahead and go first, 42 versus 40. Opening hands, we have Diva, Smashers, Nib, Ash, and Kara. They have Freezing. Flashing, Freezing, Warlords, and Fountain. Okay, so we have Pure Runic going up against Sprite. So the thing is, uh, Pure Runic is absolutely horrible, and it is just way worse than Sprite or Tear. And it actually can't beat either of those decks if it loses the dice rule most of the time. Uh, as long as this player like knows what they're doing. Uh, but Diva, bring out Diva. And then overlay, go for Gigantic, and then Gigantic effect. So it does attach and special summon. Uh, attach Diva, and then they're gonna bring out Swap Frog. Swap Frog effect, go dump. That dumps Ronin Toten. Link off, go in the Elf, and then Elf effect, summon back Swap. Swap effect, go dump Swap Frog. And then banish the Swap Frog for Ronin Toten. Overlay those, go for Toad. Special summon out carrot, set smashers, pass turn, the draw goes in, and then standby phase, we're gonna go toad effect, attach the special. Um they're thinking in response. I was gonna say, um probably would have had to start doing that in main or in draw phase if they wanted to try to stop it. You could go like freezing, try to stop this, if they negate it, then like coolest doesn't summon a body now. It's gonna summon out dupe. Oh my god, and dupe frogs insane against this deck um like the, the spells can't like you can't go to battle phase with the spells it's like there's dupe frog there so you can't crash because it's dupe frog in defense activate fountain then they're gonna go battle phase freezing chain on elf that goes through they banish three they banish pixie or not banish three yeah no it is banish three this is the banish two they got me messed up yeah, they banish one more. And then they're gonna go fountain for one. Sure. Uh, put back freezing. Uh, draw on the terraforming. And then they're gonna activate flashing on toad. This is negated so they can target it. And then in response, they're gonna chain carrot. Getting rid of the dupe frog, which is kind of scary. Because then any runic spell there trades with toad. So you could have gone toad tribute itself to set and then you still have Kara, which can stop them but i guess if they mystic mine oh they mystic mine you have smashers gonna say if they mystic mine you have to tribute elf but you wouldn't have to do that because you have this they're gonna activate terraforming they're gonna ash that uh, they're gonna have to negate the mystic mine they search otherwise uh set goes in warlords freezing and then pass thinking in end phase uh Dinkin' end phase, this is the one that you used on elf. It's only until the end of the turn, right? Yes. Okay, pass, draw blue. And then draw phase, activate warlords, chain toad to negate and try to set. And then toad effect, add back. Um, setting that there is actually pretty dumb because you're just giving them a spell. Or it's like a card on your field and a spell and trap that they can pop for free. And you're never going to get anything out of this. Effect to add back. And then they're going to activate Gozen. So now they're locked into fires. Unless if they go ahead and chain. Which they're going to. And then they're going to chain in response. Freezing. And then in response we're going to chain Smashers. Smashers banish the field spell. The trap gets stopped by a carrot. They have zero cards left, and then we win. So going on into game two now, we're going to see Runic go first. Opening hands, we have Smashers, Ash, Imperm, Desire, Swap. They have Judgment, Extravagance, Judgment, TC Boot, and Tip. To activate the Extravagance, go Banish, Chain, Ash. Also, a lot of people didn't understand what I said when the last Runic player we had on. I said Extravagance was better than Prosperity because of the restrictions. People thought I was talking about the half damage restriction, but obviously not as this deck has zero attack points in it and literally cannot do damage. Um, that's not what I meant. 
I'm into a draw restriction because prosperity, you if you activate it, you can't draw that entire turn even before prosperity. So you can't upstart then prosperity. But in this deck, you can fountain draw three and then go to main phase, activate extravagance, and then draw two because this says for the rest of the turn. It just that interaction is like really never came up because when were we ever really drawing before main phase? Like not not a lot of decks do that. Uh, I'm also looking at the banishes, just one of each, it's fine. And then activate tip to go search. Let's go and go grab flashing fire, make them banish one. Uh, okay, they forgot the banish one. It's supposed to be red, which is actually pretty big or could be pretty pretty big. I mean, it's just like one engine card, like one less engine card you have to play with. Summon Swap, Swap Effect Go Dumb, Dumb Toad, Activate Desires to Go Banish. Still think Desires over Prosperity is wild. Uh, we're going to Banish Dupes, Swap, Blue Pixies, Harpies, Gamma. Just like looking at the, the going second cards. These cards obviously don't matter if you hit them. And then draw Imperm Veiler, Battle Phase, Attack for 1000, Main Phase 2, Swap to add itself back. Uh, trying to play around Demise of the Land. Pastro goes in Pastro Diva. Summon Swap. Swap effect to go dump. And it's going to go dump Swap Frog. Banish Swap Frog for Running Totem. And then activate TC Boo. Send Running Totem. Okay. Um, enter Battle Phase. Attack for a thousand. Swap effect to add back. Yeah, it's time to play this like really slow. Pastoral blue. It's like if you do play this slow forever though, there there is a chance that your opponent just like starts doing stuff. Like they could just draw into their engine that they still haven't drawn. They should also be skipping battle phase for tip. Oh, but they didn't do that. Blue goes search up. And then activate goes in. Has to get rid of blue. Battle phase. Attack for a thousand. This is insane. There's no way the swap frog's just doing this much. It's not supposed to be like this. <laughs> uh, bounce back. It's cost. Uh, they draw warlords. And then pass. Draw gamma. Summon swap. Attack for a thousand. And then main phase two. Swap bounce back. It's not like you're going to judgment a swap frog, right? Like this is, You would never do that. Pass, draw Warlords. Yeah, there's a lot of floodgates in that deck. <laughs> Attack for a thousand, main phase two, bounce back. And then pass turn, draw Judgment, draw Blue, Summon Swap. Oh my, we're eventually going to have to Judgment a Swap Frog. <laughs> That's just what's going to have to happen. Uh, swap, bounce back. See, next turn we won't have to, but the turn after that, we're going to have to. Draw Cosmic, Summon, just no engine at all on their side. Attack. Affect the bounce back. Set Cosmic Pass. Okay, now they're going to activate Flashing Fire to Special. And that's going to bring out Mudden. Okay, that's because they have Triple Judgment. Yeah, they're not afraid of back row removal because they have this. If they try to cosmic a back row set, Mudden can protect it. This is also going to start gaining our life points back. So now we're back to a thousand. Um, they're thinking an end phase. Because um, they could cosmic and then they could chain gamma. Cosmic, target the back row, let's it go. Let's it go. Uh, maybe they just, have they discarded anything about Gamma? Mm, okay, maybe they just have the read on it. I guess you also kind of want a body. Yeah, it's kind of, like, three judgment by itself is kind of bad. Okay, never mind, it makes sense. Pastoral Carrot. Then activate Imperm on this. Uh, and obviously we're letting it go through. Uh, we want to have the body. Why? Imperm on this doesn't do anything. <laughs> what does it do? I guess it turns like it. Okay, okay. It turns off TC Boo. Does it? Is that fine? 
We have Judgment, Warlords. Okay, let's see. How much can Warlords really do? Probably not enough, but can Judgments do enough either? Probably. Normal Summon Swap Frog. That goes through. It's only because we got the gang that 1,000. That 1,000 gang saved us so much of a like hassle. Like, they could also just have, like, a starter, too. Um, so, like, if we didn't get a thousand summon swap, you had the judgment and activate starter, you have to stop it. And face discard red, pass, draw freezing, activate dispelling to go summon. Just gonna summon out mudden. Set, end phase, gain a thousand, pass, draw jet, normal summon swap frog. And then they're gonna activate imperm on it, which is gonna shut off goes and... And then they're thinking in response if they want to chain. Okay, they're gonna let that go through. And then special out Joe. Because they're not locked under Gozen now. Gozen is shut off for the turn. TC Boo is still there. Oh, they're gonna try to search, chain freezing chains to try to negate it. Then they're gonna chain smashers. And then smashers are gonna be able to banish the jet. But they're gonna chain judgment. And they have to banish three. Has a starter there. Okay, so they can overlay. Um, overlay, making the soul sweeper. And then they have to judgment. Are they? Yeah, because this is imperned. I was going to say, otherwise they'd use the effect, target, chain, the negate, and destroy. And you still have judgment for like the next thing that they try to do. Oh, um, goes ahead and judgments. I guess even yeah, the judgment for like the next thing they would do strategy would be kind of bad because they, they summon back ronin totem and then summon a spray and you have to judgment whichever one it is because they're only at a thousand and they have another one and they just lose but i guess they'd have to have like because they already special not just they have to like, like specifically carry blue yes yeah, so i just want to come up uh banish for ronin totem and then big think they said uh special out blue and then blue effect to go search. Blue go acquire. I said no targets. Okay. Then overlay, go for sky cavalry. Sure. Uh, special summon out carrot, but we can't because we don't have a level or link to. Uh, the good ones, jet and blue summon from hand if they have a rank. And then. I always think about the good ones, summon from hand, and then it was like the bad ones, carrot and red, summon if you have a link, and then eventually we started playing, and eventually Pixie started being in the list, and this summons if you have a rank, because I remember thinking like, okay, the good ones, but then also Pixies. <laughs> yeah, so you can't summon out carrot. He said, oh, snap. <laughs> so now we're just going battle phase to like sky cavalry, bounce this back. Okay, okay, I would say Sky Cavalry bounces back seems bad because we're just giving them more resources, one less to Zeus. So then we have to Zeus. Um, and that should just. Uh, okay, what are they top deck? They have to top deck something here because. Think of effect. No, you wouldn't use the effect. None of these cards do anything. Pass, draw to my little land, activate Mystic Mine. Now we just let that go through because we have even monsters and this card does nothing. <laughs> yeah, GG's. GG, GG. Because if you Zeus wipe in the next Mystic Mine, you actually have to wipe. And then they could have more things, uh, more Mystic Mines. GG, GG. Didn't play well. I mean, yeah, not nine floodgates plus like three demise of the land, judgment and all that. It really makes it hard to like play a lot of the time and like actually do stuff and get your engine rolling. I don't like having to like sit on like the floodgates are fine to sit on, but I don't like having to sit on Mystic Mine that long in that deck because I feel like you really want a fountain draw and you really want to deck your opponent out quick because if you can deck your opponent out like in a few turns rather than like you know 10 plus turns then you can 
usually stop your opponent from drawing more outs. Um, but you know, judgment can obviously help deal with that. And even if you have if you have like Mystic Mine and two Floodgates set, even if they Cosmic Mystic Mine, a lot of the time they still can't game you because you have two floods. But you really only need like one flood in a lot of matchups. It really depends like which flood and which matchup. But seeing how long the match was, it was about 44 minutes long for a 2-0. With that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.